Hi guys, uh, welcome to December 2020. Yo, can you believe this year is over? For a second there, I thought they'd say we've cancelled Christmas, cancelled December, like this year has just been crazy. But yeah, I'm so happy to finally do, I think this is going to be my last video for the year. But yeah, it's, it's exciting. I mean, it's a lot has happened this year, but it makes you much more grateful for what you had before. So yeah, um, for this ma month of uh, December, I decided to do something a little different. And uh, I'm thinking of sharing stories from different friends of mine who are in different, different places. And we'll all be sharing what Christmas has been to us, what Christmas has been in the past few years what you think Christmas will be like this year, basically all those stories. So I'm going to start with my own. What was Christmas? Um, Christmas was always a time when we would eat from when I was a child. Like I knew Christmas time is time to eat because my family can throw down. Like everybody would bring something like someone is told to make the chicken, someone make the chapo, someone make the... Nyama, somebody make some veggies, there was always cake, there was always ice cream. My family loves to have ice cream together. And somehow it's always ice cream and hobnobs. But I blame that on my cousin. Um, <laughs> because she really loves chocolate covered hobnobs. Um, yeah, so it always had a lot of food. Uh, another thing we always had during Christmas was just the... For like a period of about five days, my family would all sleep in one house. All of us. Okay, we're not that many. We're not that many. <laughs> but yeah, everybody would be sleeping in the same house, in the living room, in the bedrooms. In Like there was always people in the same house. So sometimes we'd be in our house and then we'd go to my grandma's house and then my auntie. Like it was just always a huge party. Like to date, if you look... In each of our houses, there's always extra mattresses. Because, you know, December, for a period there, it's just a huge sleepover. So that's, I guess, one thing I'm really going to miss this year. Because I'll miss that closeness in the Christmas season. Yeah, it's something that I'm really learning to appreciate now. Um, What else? I have my list here. So if you see me looking here, it's like... Um, my grandma loves to sing. So I, I just saw the word grandma. <laughs> Let me move my list closer. Yeah, I just saw the word grandma. And my grandma loves to sing and dance. Like, if you follow me on my social media, you've probably seen a video or two. Shh. <laughs> yeah, if you follow me on my social media, then you've probably seen a video or two of my grandma dancing or singing. Because she's, she's the heart of this family, literally. But yeah, one thing I always look forward to in this season, especially beginning of December, I know a lot of people decorate their houses like in November, which I think is really early, but hey, I'm not decorate shaming. <laughs> but for me, it, the decorating always comes like in the last two weeks just before Christmas. So I really enjoy decorating the house. And for some reason, it was always me who was initiating the, hey guys, can we decorate? Um... What are we going to do? I love to make Christmas decorations from scratch. Like I'll get paper and I'll cut out some things or um, make the Christmas tree just have some extra, like from wrapping paper, I would cut some shapes out of it, some um, festive shapes out of them and then like put them on the tree as well. Which, wow, now in retrospect, wow. I am really missing that this year because this year I just chose not to decorate at all. In fact... I went a step further and gave away the entire box of decorations. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing Christmas like that anytime soon, which is kind of sad, to be honest. But yeah, it's it's it has taken a toll on my festive mood. Like, I'm looking forward to Christmas. I'm just not feeling as festive this year. Also, because I'll be working until... I think, I think I'll be working until the 22nd of 
December. So that has also played a part in why I'm not feeling like decorating. So yeah, that's definitely another one. Another thing, after all the festivities and festivities and the sleepovers and everything, another thing I always love to do is go to the beach. I love being near water, anywhere with a swimming pool, anywhere with the ocean, a lake, a river, anywhere with water. So I just love going on vacation right after Christmas or right before Christmas. Actually, I've done it both ways. Last year, I did one before and one after, both of them to a body of water. So yeah, that was a fun thing to do. I think I might still get a chance to do that this year, but we'll see. I mean, this is 2020. <laughs> I'm just glad they didn't cancel Christmas. Um, yeah, what else? I think I just really enjoyed the time being together. And that's one thing I think we've taken for granted for so many years. I won't even lie. So many years where you have the option, like you can choose not to be there, but we like having, <laughs> humans like having the option of we can come for a sleepover or we can travel and be together as a family. So now even with all the festivities that was supposed to have happened this is the one that people are not quite sure about like i know a lot of people have traveled but for me because my family is in nairobi it's more challenging because of some of the restrictions like it's not as hard to meet but people are also scared of should we meet with the older people because their immunity might be lower should we meet with anybody who has a small baby so there's a lot at stake this year. And um, yeah, they, I think we just have to all be careful. Put on your mask, sanitize. Like I was, I was always that person who had sanitizer in her bag. But like I would probably use it like once a week. But now it's become so vital that I have one in the bag that I have during the week, one in the bag that I will probably carry over the weekend. It's it's crazy, yeah. Sanitizing has become a big part. Washing your hands has become an even bigger part because, I mean, you don't want to catch it. And I know several people who've gotten corona and gotten better, but that still doesn't um, stop us from being vigilant with the cleanliness, just to be sure. So, yeah, this is definitely a different year. Yeah. Um, what else? I feel like to wrap up this year, I wanted to share Christmas stories for the benefit of remembering the olden days and also realizing that this is the new normal. And I put that in quotes because I don't intend, or rather none of us intended for this to happen. And none of us intends for this to still be here in like 10 years. So yeah, it's our current normal. So yeah, I think we're just learning to be grateful. I'm learning to be grateful for family, for friends, for being able to go to work. Like something as simple as that. So that's why I really wanted to share Christmas stories this year. Because a lot of, um, some of the people I've asked to share what Christmas is to them will be sharing their current Christmas in their city, meaning um, their lights, um, how they've decorated their homes, or some of their special memories from this Christmas season that have passed or from this current one. So yeah, I, I feel like we just need some extra cheer this year, even as we close the year. Yeah. So that's what I'll be doing for this month. I don't want to keep you here too long because I don't want to give too much away about what's going to be coming. But yeah, it's exciting. It's really exciting to just choose joy and choose positivity even in this season. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I hope you guys will be able to share your stories with me. You can share them in the comment section. Tell me what you love most about Christmas depending on where you are, uh, what's the one common thing that you see um, during the Christmas season, what's your favorite Christmas memory from your childhood. Yeah, all those things. I'm looking for all that positive energy. Please bring it my way. Yeah, because some of us are working until 
right before <laughs> right before Christmas. So I literally have two days before Christmas um, just to rest a bit and fill up my battery again, my personal battery. Just, yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. I'm excited for this December because it marks the end of a really long year for a lot of us. Thank you guys so much for the support you've given me this year with the blog, with starting out the stories during the last week of the month. So, yeah, something new I also want to do is uh, introduce something else in 2021. It's already brewing. But yeah, I'm really excited about it. But thank you guys for the love. Thank you for the support on my YouTube channel. I know that was new as well. So the new things on my blog have been definitely been the stories that I do at the end of every month and um, the YouTube channel. And for those who've also followed on Facebook, thank you guys so much for following on Instagram as well. Thank you for reaching out. I'm still getting a couple of stories coming in and that is exciting. Thank you so much. I love you. Um, I hope you're looking forward to the stories that are coming up, the Christmas stories, the family stories. Yeah, I'm excited. Thank you so much. Um, what is happening with this lighting? Is it just me? Because I feel like it keeps coming on and off. Akina Vilo Mafanya to video without makeups. It's alright. And you are jewelers. Akina, these do these are many. Will you guys hear this in the video? There is so many picky pickies passing out here. So help me God. What was I saying? Tusulukuna sema nini? Ooh.